Ministry officials, principals, teachers, students, ancillary staff, parents, fellow St. Lucian. The pleasure is mine to address you at the beginning of a new academic year for the first time as Minister of Education. The start of a new school year is one of the most anticipated events on the national school calendar. It usually generates lots of excitement and anticipation among students, parents, teachers, and school administrators. However, amidst the excitement and anticipation, are a few of our students who are nervous and anxious because they are entering school for the first time or are moving from one school environment to another. And so the uncertainty gets the better of them, if only for a day. As we gear up for the commencement of the 2021-2022 academic year, we are once again faced with the challenges brought on by the COVID-19 pandemic. Our initial plan was to have a full-fledged reopening of schools, where teachers, students, and ancillary staff would all report to the various school buildings for classes and other school-related activities. Unfortunately, COVID-19 has forced us once again to part from what we initially planned. And so students must stay at home to receive their lessons until such time that health authorities and personnel from the Ministry of Education deem it safe to return to face-to-face student-teacher interaction. The sharp increase in the number of COVID cases means that we must resort to the distributed learning modality where classes will be conducted on a virtual platform for students with smart devices and internet connectivity. In instances where students do not possess smart devices or internet infrastructure, teachers will endeavor to prepare handouts, worksheets, and other relevant packages that students will engage at home. Of course, the decision to resort to the distributed or blended methodology was arrived at after consultation with our various stakeholders, including the Ministry of Health, the St. Lucia Teachers Union, and the National Principals Association, amongst others. Notwithstanding the hurdles and challenges, I am pleased as your Minister of Education to welcome all of our students, teachers, principals, and support personnel to the start of a new school year, which officially commences on Monday, September 13th, 2021. The Government of St. Lucia through the Ministry of Education is committed to ensuring that this academic year is one that improves on the experiences of last year. As a ministry, it is our intent to reduce on the loss of instruction time. The expectation is that school administrators and teachers, through the various training exercises undertaken, will be better prepared to engage in learning and teaching this year through the proposed distributed approach. Unfortunately, there are hundreds of students in our school system who do not possess a tablet or laptop computer or internet connectivity. This situation of students not having devices to take advantage of the virtual learning platform concerns me tremendously as minister, and I have caused it to be the subject of very robust discussions amongst education administrators and my cabinet colleagues. Thankfully, upon apprising him of the situation, the Honorable Prime Minister without delay instructed that through the requisite channels and employing the most transparent government-approved procurement guidelines, the Ministry of Education makes available at the soonest almost 4,000 laptop computers to students in need. Upon arrival on island, those devices will first be distributed amongst incoming Form 1 students and Form 2s in the secondary school system. There are also other initiatives afoot to secure devices for primary school students as well, in particular those in grade 6. This is the direction in which the world is moving and our students will not be left behind. COVID-19 has taken a toll on us as a society, and our children have not been spared or exempted. 
We will ensure that the necessary support mechanisms are in place to help students recover socially, emotionally, and academically. Principals, teachers, I urge you to take the time. Listen to your students as they express how they feel, how their lives have changed, and how they handle their situations and challenges. Let us be flexible and supportive more than ever before as we embrace new approaches to meet the needs of our students while providing them with the best educational experience in the circumstances. Thus, our school guidance counselors will continue to support our school personnel, noting the number of socio-emotional challenges that are being faced. There is nothing we desire more as a government than a full-fledged reopening of schools where students can leave home and take their rightful places in the classrooms that have been prepared for them. The school is the safest place for many of our students to spend their day. Since the advent of COVID-19, a significant number of our students have had to stay home, in some cases unsupervised, because their parents are at work. And those students have fallen prey to unsavory activities and in some instances, they have been violated by individuals in whose care they were entrusted. The Ministry of Education will continue to regularly monitor the health situation, review our processes towards improving academic recovery and minimizing instruction loss. It will be a trying time for all of us, especially as we still grapple with the impact of COVID-19 on our families, communities and livelihoods. The Ministry of Education cannot do it on its own. We therefore seek to invoke the national spirit of community and patience as we work together in supporting our education system. Parents, yours has always been an important role in the education of your child. However, in this format of instruction and learning, your role is even more critical to the education of your child. We encourage you to provide the necessary oversight and support to your child during this academic year. We need an all hands on deck approach, which also includes support and understanding of employers and other corporate partners as we seek to overcome the challenges faced by our education system at this time. It would be remiss of me to conclude this address without once again placing on the public record my gratitude and that of the government to the hundreds of teachers who drive this education system of ours under trying circumstances week after week after week. Fellow teachers, your contribution to nation building will forever be appreciated by the government and people of St. Lucia. On behalf of the Prime Minister, my cabinet colleagues, the senior management team of the Ministry of Education, and on my own personal behalf, let me once again wish all principals, teachers, support staff, and students a productive and successful academic year. Quand nous parlé malheureusement, l'année a pu pu 4000 mamay en système l'école nous qui pas ni laptop et bien tablette. Moi j'ai point l'occasion pour informer premier ministre et puis cabinet hold situation ça là. Et puis premier ministre là J'ai dit moi, dat ministre indication ni pou fè tout sa ki posib pou wè ki nou jwenn a pi pwè 4000 tablet et pi laptop pou fè avèlab bay mamay an peyi sèt lisi. Ou lè pou l'okasyon pou mande tout moun pou nou kopowe et pi nou twavay ansanm. Nou ni pou twavay ansanm kon an ministre edikasyon et pi Union Teacher Organizasyon Met Lekòl et pi tout moun ki ni lantewe an sistem edikasyon peyi nou. Covid jan mete nou an dan sitiwasyon dat nou pa twelman ple epi. Men nou jan moutye an tap ki pase dat konsep lisyen nou sa fe nepot sa nou mete lide nou pou fe. Ek menm si Covid ka afekte, mwen ni an chay konfyans sa pa kaya afekte sistem edikasyon epi lanye lekol sa la a da pies manye ki kaya afekte peyi nou a da manye ki gwav. Mwen le pwen l'okasyon pou di tout met l'ekol, ticha, mamay, pewan. Ani nou, anou ni ansam, an bon lani 
en système d'éducation pays. Merci, merci, merci un peu.